Unemployment and poverty are at very high rates in the city of Philadelphia. Philly has, in the black community, it's about 17.7% unemployment, which is really high relative to other demographics. My name is Sarita Martin. I got pregnant at the age of 16. Um, I had my daughter at 17. I then proceeded to attend school full time. I worked multiple part time jobs. But within that first year, uh, it got rough. I was an out of school student. <laughs> I was having to pay out of pocket. Mom and dad were like, look, we, we've gotten you as far as we can go. So I did end up having to apply and, and get on welfare. My pride was hurt over that. That's not something I, I thought that I would ever have to get through. My name is Michael Butler. I'm an independent journalist and content creator based in Philadelphia. I love the creative freedom. I love the experiences I get to have as an entrepreneur. It's been a trial by fire. I'm not going to sugarcoat things for you. There are a lot of things that people don't tend to take into account when it comes to working for yourself, especially as black and brown people. We already are submitted, some, we're submitted to a culture of poverty by default, unfortunately. So the scary thing for a lot of us is that just getting a job in a quote unquote good job where you know they ask for your references, your college degree, for a lot of us that already is an endeavor. I wish even as an older college student, more of my classes and my media program talked about rates for your work. I had no idea. And the best thing I would want for anybody else that aspires to be an independent journalist, content creator, what have you, is that they have, they go through some kind of financial literacy training because what happens very quickly in this creative economy, you can get shortchanged very quickly. As part of our mission, it's really to address some of the, the real big challenges affecting our community. And so we wanted to see if we could use our various platforms, radio, digital, events, social media, to try and connect our community, particularly younger people, with uh, information and job opportunities and access to career readiness, entrepreneurship information, and actual jobs. I continue with my schooling. I continue to go after my dreams. Um, and it took me at least 10 years to get to a point where I was able to get myself off of welfare. I think it's definitely been sold to us that you find your lane and you stay in that lane and you work that lane until you can no end. Currently as an entrepreneur, I make money a few different ways. I am a rideshare driver, um, I run my business, I'm a radio show host, um, and I'm also a life skills development facilitator. And this is a time where as a black community, the intergenerational conversation is extremely important. Yeah. Entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart. Um, it's not impossible. I haven't reached the peak, but I've been through the valley, and for me, it's worth it.